The start of the New Testament, Matthew chapter 1, the first 17 verses of the genealogy of Jesus. Verse 17 says, From Abraham to David, 14 generations, that's 2 times 7. From David to the deportation in Babylon, 14 generations, that's 2 times 7. And from the Babylonian captivity to Jesus the Christ, 14 generations, that's 2 times 7. The open text of Scripture here indicates that, like the opening sentence of the Old Testament, Genesis 1.1, which has seven words in Hebrew, there is a watermark of God in Scripture, a seal of seven and of 37. In Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to 17, there are 98 proper nouns. That's seven times seven times two. There are 37 proper nouns in the description of the genealogy to Solomon, who was born of her who was the wife of Uriah. Uriah the Hittite was the last named of the 37 mighty men of David, who we read about in 2 Samuel chapter 23. Uriah, in Greek it's Uriu, his name has a numeric value of 1050, which is 3 times 7 times 50. Uriah is the last name in 37 proper nouns in this opening passage in Matthew chapter 1. Of the 98 proper nouns, there are 49 individual proper nouns, which is 7 times 7. In other words, some of the proper nouns are mentioned more than once. There are 42 males mentioned in the genealogy up to Jesus. 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. And don't think that that's simply because there are 14 generations plus 14 generations plus 14 generations, 14 plus 14 plus 14, 42. Because two men are mentioned, Uriah and Zerah, who aren't actually in the genealogy. Of all the names of males in the list, Seven have their name in more than one form. Seven. Here they are on the screen. You can pause the video if you want to and make a note of them. The phrase, their egenisen, and the father of, occurs exactly 37 times in the genealogy. Their egenisen has a numeric value of 385, which is divisible by seven. In verse 16, the key phrase, by whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ, in Greek, exis egenithi Jesus olegomenos Christos, has seven words, and Jesus, Jesus, is the middle word with three words on each side. And there are 35 letters in the phrase, which is seven times five. These few examples only start to show the many numeric patterns of seven and three and seven and 37 that are in these opening words of the New Testament.